Hey there! In today's video, I will show you how to optimize the parameters of a given strategy. In this case, we will optimize the number of days we look back in order to calculate an average in an SMA crossover strategy. Most importantly, we will optimize those parameters, but we will use Microsoft Excel's inbuilt functionalities without the need of any code. So let's get started. In today's example, we will be using intraday stock prices of Tesla. An SMA strategy consists in calculating two moving averages, one which is shorter than the other one, and whenever the shorter one crosses above the longer one, it issues a buy signal. And whenever the short one goes below the longer one, it triggers a sell signal. So, having this in mind, we go ahead and calculate both the short SMA and the long SMA, and use the close price of each bar as an input and check whether we should be holding the position at a given time. So here you can see it's false due to the fact that the longer one is greater than the short one. Having said that, each bar we also calculate the logarithmic return. And depending on if we hold the position or not during that period, we add it to our overall return. As you can see, both SMAs can be changed in this cell. If we go ahead and change it from from 8 to 10, the overall strategy return is going to change from 26, I think it was 26, to 21. That's right. You can go ahead and download this file at the given link, or else you can also see the previous video I uploaded. In a nutshell, the result should look as follows. We should have a table with different numbers for each parameter, and at the intersection we should have the given return of that combination. As you can see, I already highlighted the best combination, which is 8 and 16, and that yields 26% over the backtesting period. Okay, so in order to get started, let's just start by creating an array of possible values for the short SMA. We'll just cover values between, I don't know, 1 and 20. 1, 2, and let's do this. 20. And the other one will allow for values in increments of 2. So let's go ahead and 2, 4, until, I don't know, 60. That's right. Due to the fact that we have 20 times 30, uh, 600 combinations, it can take a few seconds to calculate the, the return of all the 600 combinations. Okay, in each cell we want to have the return of the, of the parameter value pair. So here we want to have 1 and 2, and that would be, let's see, SMA1 and 2, minus 3.49%. So let's copy the formula for the, for the overall return. It's none other than the sum of the daily returns of the strategy, and let's paste it here. And now we're going to use the what if feature in, inside of the forecast ribbon. So you can find that inside of data, forecast, what if, and we have three possibilities. We'll use data table. Let's select the entire table. That's right. And let's do what if analysis, data table. And for the row input tables, we'll select this value and for the column input tables we'll select the value of the longer SMA and we don't have to indicate the variable that we want to maximize because we already pasted the formula in here which is where this function looks for the variable to optimize okay let's go ahead and let it calculate this can take a few seconds once it is finished let's go ahead and paste it again but as values and copy it to a new sheet so here we have the SMA1 and the SMA2. As you can see, it's quite difficult to find the maximum, so let's go ahead and create a heat map and select everything and go to conditional formatting, color scales, and we want this one where the green one indicates a maximum. It seems like this cell has the maximum value and it was with a parameter of 8 for the SMA short and a value of 16 for the SMA long. 
Another check that we should also be interested in doing is see that a smaller change in one of the parameters does not affect too much the return of the strategy. So if we go ahead and change this one from eight to seven or nine, we are only changing our return from, 20, from 26 to 22 or 21. We are not going into a negative number like here. This is important in order to to tell whether our our strategy is somewhat robust or very fragile. In this case, it seems to be rather robust, but but anyways, I would not trade with that with such a simple strategy. As you can see, we easily optimized or maybe overfit the parameters of our SMA crossover strategy without the need of any programming skills whatsoever. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.